it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. All right, everybody. Welcome back to ECAC. It's Valorant time. We got a best of three. And this is the first time we've ever talked about it. It's going to be the College of Staten Island coming up against Grand Valley State University. I'm Lowe's joined by Vincent. Now, my man, tell me how you're feeling tonight. Man, I am uh, I'm excited for some Valorant. We uh, have two fantastic teams and teams that you and I we've actually seen before. It's uh, you know Staten Island is seeming like a, a pretty regular occurrence for us. Uh, we all the way back in week one saw them have an unfortunate loss against the Fanshawe Fuel, and then just last week it was myself and Sutherland who got to see them do a lot better against Long Island. Unfortunately, I think ultimately they did take a loss there, um, or it was a close win. I cannot recall, but what I do know is that Grand Valley State University is a tough team, and it is going to be more tough opposition for this college of Staten Island. Yeah, a story of maybe overcoming a great power and finding your own strength here in the ECAC. But regardless, we're about to jump into our first map, but let's take a quick look at the map selection that we have for this best of three. I mean, kicking things off today, it will be a fan favorite of CSI. It's got to be Bind. Yeah, and you know, you, you say fan favorite. I think that's that's absolutely fair in that they have definitely played it quite a bit. Um, but they've had some hit or miss success, right? They've done so. They've done well in some cases. They have struggled in others. That Fanshawe Fuel game, for example, um, not ideal to say the least. They got got shellacked on it. Um, but I think that the reality is Fanshawe Fuel were just playing a little bit of a different game. And that's the danger here. That's the scary factor here um, for this team because you, you look at this on paper and Grand Valley State University, they are a undefeated team at the moment. And CSI, well, they're two and three. They've had a couple of more games than the rest of their opposition, but they've also lost a few more. Haven will be our second map though. And I think that um, all things considered this is solid enough for staten island they're able to take a win here as a, or at least potentially take a win here but grand valley state did pick that out and in fact when we watched grand valley state before they were dominant on that map they won 13-1 against the college of state of st rose so it was uh, an interesting decision and well icebox will be our decider so i think a, a lot of possibility is that that's how i would describe things here it's the eve of change, potentially. You know, we're jumping into fall. Things are moving. The leaves are falling. And maybe an undefeated team will fall here today. But I'm not going to make any assumptions. But looking at that initial record, 3-0, and it's very good in terms of outlooks for GVSU. However, as we've said, CSI, they got more reps. They have more, I guess, experience time here within the league. So, there's a, there's a great possibility that this could be a, a wonderful launching moment. Absolutely could be. Let's get into it, though. The Agent Select coming underway as we get down to the hard yards. It's time to see who will come away with the victory here on Bind. It's CSI looking uh, like they're going to be locking in a jet for Sano. Interesting. And... Um, I say interesting because we so often see the rays that Illusion has pulled out. Appomattox might be doing that as well. But Double Duelist is a conversation that I think you and I, Los, have continuously had. Is that still the good way to go? Is there a different way? Double Controller seems to be on the cards here for Grand Valley State. I personally am not a fan of the Double Controller. They might look into that because... 
when you're on a offensive line, it feels that the second controller doesn't really bring too much. I mean, they've got a plethora of lineups in terms of that snake bite, as well as the molly, the orbital strike. Things would be nice in terms of a post plant scenario, but I think just getting to the objective itself is going to be a bit difficult. However, they're starting things off on the defense, so I think they're Choose looking to get agent. their victories here in the first half. Well, I, I mean, I, I think that that's a fair read of the situation if you're going to go for that, that double controller. I tend to not mind it so much. I think that there's some good arguments there. But regardless, looks like we're going to get the lock-ins. The other big difference here is on the initiator front. I think it's not unreasonable to see two initiators come through as well. And we're actually seeing two very different ideas for this initiator role. You got the Sky, which I think is a little bit more standard. And then on the other side, Jan has gone for the Sova. So just a little bit different, a little bit of a uh, different type of play coming through. And I, I think it could be interesting. I, I would tend to edge out the Sky as the better pick overall. But we'll see how Del Taco uh, is able to utilize that. One thing that I do know is that the College of Staten Island are missing one of their heavy hitters, Murex. One player that I watched and had a whole lot of fun watching in that last uh, in that last matchup is not here tonight. Del Taco taking the place. Or sorry, that that's uh, the other side. Who's it, who is it taking the place? I'm not sure who it's, who it is. I, I'm assuming it's it's Alice. Yeah, that might be the. Lisa, I know that we got. The name, the the former name. Yeah, I yes, yes, that's correct. It's clarity. Was clarity? No, Alice. I was really banking on the idea of a pop flash not to be delivered. You know, oh, quite oh, a lot of be filled here, but we're just getting started. A little bit of poking a prodding around the extremity zone B. Major issues there in the teleporter, though. Nice work being done, though. Seravik kind of swayed one. It seems like the attempt is being pushed from multiple angles there with Dive coming alive. Matic and crew waiting on the other side of that smoke, and Arix was hoping to find a lot more, or hoping to find a lot less opponents. Once that dissipated, an illusion with a great headshot, now isolating the final attacker there inside Hookah. It's Appomatic. And they have some options. They could actually head over to B if they could make this escape. I mean, A, sorry. We're all over the place, aren't we, here at the beginning of this game, Los? We got A's and B's and teams left and right. But regardless, left. Abomatic and Staten Island going to be able to get at least a spike plant. I do, th I do love that Spike we're planted. seeing GVSU stick together. They're, they're playing this very intelligently, making sure that they're not going to get caught out. No no free pick, nothing like that. And on the low HP, Appomatic has made a very aggressive maneuver into spawn. They'll find no one making a rotation from there. Of players coming through from short, hearing that tap, sound cue has to be a flank, and it's a beautiful tap onto Del Taco. However, Appomatic won't be able to close things out. Illusion will save themselves from disaster and get GVSU the first win. Yeah, pretty close on that defuse overall, but very nice work from GVSU. They're, they are the undefeated team coming into this, so you would expect a little bit from them. Particularly as we head into uh, this map, but uh, an area where CSI ha have definitely had some falters, but they've definitely shown themselves to be a very strong contender. My real concern, though, is without Mirix, without that star, was on the uh, was on the raise before, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to remember in not not a hundred percent on that, but definitely had some high impact moments in the game last week. Here we are with a new week and new opportunity to provide that firepower. But now for CSI, just quite a bit of classics and maybe a little bit of danger for Del Taco. Not the case. Able to maneuver their way away. Get that position actually resecured. Maybe Omasano has something to say about it. Oh, nice.
Nice uh, exit there from Del Taco. Keep, keeping themselves alive and... What happened with that? Oh, that a, I think that was a self-shock dart on accident. You know, we can just leave it at that and not even think about it. <laughs> we... <laughs> All right, fair enough. We'll leave it there. <laughs> I, I, but, but back to Del Taco, I, I like that, you know, got or took that initial shot. Don't even know if he got the kill, but was clearly feeling like they were going to get overwhelmed very quickly. And I love the idea just to, okay, I missed the shot. Let's just fall back. Try to exit. It was risky to try to get out of there, but, but gets out without a problem. And is able to then retake with the rest of the team while Solution applies the pressure elsewhere, so... GDSU doing a good job initially. It's going to be the gun round here. And a pretty significant bonus here for the defense as well. They're working with a couple of upgrades. Showstopper comes out and it's denied. That's actually a huge conversion. Three dead for the defenders. GVSU only have the lone dive and garden. There's not enough pressure, not enough smokes in the world to stop this play unless they just say, you know what? Let's wait it out. He's played safe. Not the case. Oh, I like dive timing here. Del Taco comes in as well. A real possibility, and they brought it back. Are you kidding me, Los? What is that from Del Taco? Just a ridiculous display of gunplay. I can't believe Dive and Del Taco were able to pull that off. Just the two of them coming from those opposite angles. I was wondering, okay, they slowed it down. Gave themselves some time, must be waiting for the smoke to dissipate, but no, they jumped right into the trademark, made themselves so open for dive to bring in that crossfire, and it all fell apart after an explosive beginning. And I think I think all of that comes down to some great timing. Dive and Del Taco with some communication to make sure that they they synced up their swing incredibly effectively. The domination here from GVSU continues in the 2v4 clutch. Enough information gained. Just gave a, a brief idea. Couldn't tell who was hiding in the cubbies. And a nice little assist from Illusion in the teleporter. Going to whittle them down to two. Just down on Long in the fountain. Really nice work from Dive. Has the orbital strike now as well. It's going to confirm a triple kill. These are just eco frags. And yeah, sure, they're meaning a little lessened, but. Fairness, you'd want to uh, be picking something up here at Grisano. Definitely one to watch out for in the CSI team. On the jet roll, but RX is going to put that one to bed. A flawless victory at that on the eco round. But low seers where things can, can change, right? We've got a, a buyback in. It was very close on that bonus round. You got to remember that, yeah, it was a win for GVSU, but it was a win based on a crazy play. A 2v4. In the beginning of that round, you would have thought this is CSI's first play, but the funnel outside of Hookah was just disastrous. But now we'll have a, a bit more use out of Aloof. That's what I'm hoping. Didn't get to see too much Viper utility, but not really going to be the highlight here. It's Illusion running it up. Loof able to follow one through. However, they lose their life. So even trades all around a three on three, but a quick rotation coming from dive. Yeah, that's the real problematic part of this. The showstopper available and now the hunter's story as well, but they know it's not B. It can't be at this point with dive in the position that he's in. They're going to rotate back. They're going to walk into the crosshairs. Like oh, I was looking for the collab, but no dive. They find one. They see an opportunity by backing off and taking a second angle, and they've secured it. It's all up to Appomattox, but they're toast. The walls are closing, and of course, it'll be Dive to finish it off. It's 5-0 GVSU. I mean, Dive is so clean with some of those taps. It is a little ridiculous to watch. It is so fun to see this player work 9-2 and two right now with four assists. After just five rounds, that is ridiculous. With all that being said, Los, we're, we're looking at a, uh, a situation that is going from bad to worse. This is CSI's map pick. And they're already down by five. 
And those were five rounds where, yeah, the bonus was close, but nothing else has really been particularly one-sided. It's so interesting to see how the, the stacks change as each round goes by. Now, Dive's still over by B. Now, much less of a, a present threat, just looking to keep the peace and prevent a play down long. Ooh. Allah Sunawal getting into the scoreboard. Finding that kill through the smoke, I believe. I might have just been on the edge of it, but regardless, a lot of utility being invested from both of these smokes. Both of these controllers. The last guy smoke now used from dive. And that's just passing the one minute mark, but Del Taco, where was that? All the way from CT. They realized that long was smoked off, so they might as well give it a shot down hookah. Yawn. Maybe looking for an opposition, someone who's too far up. They don't have many options. I mean, Del Taco, gravely injured. However, even putting yourself in a position to get that shot will deal with a, a crossfire left. that they are still feeling the pain from a few rounds ago. Sano trying to find the timing has lurked out here. It has the rest of the team coming with them at Tonda. An illusion delivers with efficiency. Three in a row. No time left. Even if they had the chance at Orbital Strike out of the last ditch effort, I'm not sure what the reason behind that one was. Spite, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems as good a reason as any because I'm just not sure what the strategy behind it could have been. No particular reason to invest an ultimate there when you've already lost a round. You're looking at a 1v4 if you're Seraphic. There's just no no reason to invest. Regardless, a mistake made, and, and they're going to have to live with it. That said, there is still quite a few ultimates here. And with the loss bonus starting to accrue, there's plenty of cash to be buying in. And Odin alongside some additional rifles. And here's the blade storm. <laughs> Coming through with a great blind. Actually, Sano what? able to maneuver away from the showstopper, but not in time to get away from the fury of Illusion's Phantom. And the push has crumbled. The team has lost everyone. Allah Sunawal, the last one alive, and they have to throw it to a save. Well, I mean, you say that, but I don't know if he's going to have an opportunity to even try and save this weapon. Yeah, not even possible. He got taken out in Swan in the back lanes. 7-0. This is already a one half for Grand Valley. And it's not even, I mean, we're, we're still got five rounds. That is outrageous. We're looking into such a dominant scoreline and that setup from RX to put Illusion into position to find those kills is simply phenomenal. The teamwork out, out of this world. Yeah, beautiful display. I mean, I instantly thought about illusion shots, but a, a perfect setup Let's coming play. from this sky. And I think we're getting even more and more information and reasoning to think that this is just a, a much stronger initiator, at least with how this team's composition is looking to maneuver. Regardless, round number eight, Alasuna with the Tour de Force. Yeah, that, I mean, the Bladestorm didn't necessarily find value last round, so you definitely want to get something out of this. We'll dive. Spotted one out. Oh, and the Tour de Force is ringing out as well. Looking at the kill feed, though, there's no cakewalk down on Garden. Everyone has fallen. I mean, Alistair wants to make that play, but with this Stim Beacon, might be able to land the shot. No. Just Two kills more. secured. There's not enough bullets in the chamber, not by a long shot, but a nice attempt. Some value, yes, but not going to be enough. And who has the tour de force but Del Taco? This is a double op wielding round. This is confidence at the highest level. You have the tour de force? Oh, well, you know, I have the op too, so let's just have both of them. Allows you to go for that quick fire. I mean, not that quick, to be honest, but still. You know what the flex is? Getting a kill with the Tour de Force and then immediately whipping out the op. Oh, boy. Seraphic, the first one to strike. 
soon after, Luf able to take that blood right back. Just deny space and realize what the push is coming from. And you've already got the flank from Dive. Yeah, and uh, maybe a little bit overzealous from the raise there initially. Yeah, Dive should be able to close this out. He's going to know where Sano is coming from. And Dive, so Beacon consistent. Down. Stem Beacon out as well. One on three. That's what Sano has got to do. Oh, and what a devious guiding light. But it doesn't find value. Sano actually gets an exit, an escape. Unfortunately, what? they forgot the spike. Oh, no, you're right. How has this happened? Sano, that's tragic. Had the plant unlocked, but misses out on the spike. I thought for sure it was recovered. I wasn't even looking in that area. That's the round. That should be round over here. And it will be. Loof gonna take out the final player, and it stays a flawless game here for Grand Valley State University. I mean, that is that is rock. That is ridiculous. Sano just has to get that spike if you're going to be taking that duel. From one bad position to one that is even worse. That's what it's like for the College of Staten Island right now. And at this point, there hasn't been many hopeful moments for them to find a big win, but this could be it. They can take out Dive in this moment. That's a great success. But you still have to deal with the two players sitting in Garden and the, the major utility dump coming out from the teleporter. Del Taco pushed forward as well into these positions. Illusion coming from the other side. Not quite ready for Appomattox on top. But it's still a pinch. And Appomattox is the sole survivor. Oh no, that's... Everything seems to be worse. As time goes on, there's no respite. There's no breath of air for them to take to gain their bearings. The second they walk into hookup, they have to face off with dive. Sure, they get the kill. But the second that happens, so many pieces of utility. The toxic screen, the boom bite, the paint shells, even a snake bite for good measure is sent their way. Yeah, I mean, they literally get hit with the whole kitchen sink. It's just like smacked right in the face with the... With, with, with all the utility in the in the freaking game you hate to see it 12 rounds could be a reality oh this is gonna be so telling now that all the seekers are heading that direction hit with the paint shells that could be crucial what a beautiful shot a lucky one of that for yawn they'll be able to have some safety creating that space but it's also this viper's bit played so aggressively i mean yeah but look I mean, They've got two players already rotated all the way from B. RX and Dive have pushed forward. They're just getting pushed into their spawn. That's how aggressive this GVSU team has been. And Dive, Dive's coming around from the other angle. There's no way Santa's prepared. This is outrageous, unreasonable even. Nah, he's, he's got to take the shot. Take it. Oh yeah, there's sounds of teammates running on through and come on dive the 4k on a completely unaware trio and it's 11 nothing right now this is an absolute beat down on bind i'll give it a buck Los, there's really nothing to say nothing to analyze this is just gvsu doing everything right here they haven't changed they haven't done anything you know mistake wise and I, I wouldn't even say that CSI have been playing particularly poorly. It's just that GVSU are just that much better. And the individual prowess alongside the aggression is just so hard to contend with. Del Taco, again, opening things up with an op kill down long. Swaps out to a Vandal. I'm not, I think that was just sitting around. <laughs> Had that in the back pocket, waiting. We've got the showstopper here. No success found, but what's the response? It's another one in kind, and Yawn will be losing out on that spike. And that's essentially the round unless a massive recovery effort comes through. Yep, that's, uh, this should be it. Illusion with another quad this time. I... Yikes. Yikes is the answer. Just CSI picked behind here. 
and they are getting dominated in the the most insane degree possible. At this point, I, I don't even think that the win is particularly on the, the mindset here. I think you have to think about map two and and try and keep in, in your head, okay, map one didn't exist. We're just going into map two. It's a fresh series. A best of one with option for a bonus fun on Icebox if you win it. That's, <laughs> that's the game they're about to play after this. But I would say... At the very least, ensure it's not a flawless map, a perfect one. True. Because that is that is on the cards. That is a possibility to be brought here tonight. And with a major rush down short and some confidence that they can push through the paint shells, this is going to be actually Sano putting pause. And the rest of the crew here for CSI finding their man. Really solid work. Revolution has brought it back. Del Taco as well. A shot fired. It's going to leave one player left alive. Yawn. It was very good for the Staten Island team against Long Island earlier last week. Unfortunately, going to be entirely baited. Spike planted. The B plant comes in, and here's the 1v2. These are a bit. More open on B, so it could have been favorable, but there is no hope. There is no favors done here for CSI. It's a 13 nothing wallop. GVSU. My God, really putting on a clinic. And as, as you said, there's not much to say here. No, I, I mean, as, as frustrating as that sounds, you just have to give it over to GVSU. They played a phenomenal game. They did everything right. There was no mistakes. And you know what? They deserve the win. 13-0 is a ridiculous scoreline. And I don't know if that will be repeatable as we head in towards map number two. But you got to keep in mind that, you know, supposedly CSI, they were looking forward to that map. They thought that they would have the, the victory there. And GVSU took them to town. So uh, my... My confidence shaken on CSI. Yeah, uh, got a lot of things to work on and think about, even ourselves, to see what could possibly be done as we head over to Haven. But we'll have a few minutes to mull that over, so don't go anywhere. ECAC Valon returns right after this. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow in any environment, at any scale. It's not for everyone, but if you want to learn and make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer.
You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs. Like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions if you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goal hey folks and welcome back to ecac valorant we just wrapped up the first map and we're coming back from a break. It was about five minutes or a quarter of the previous map that we just played. <laughs> Regardless, we're going to go to map two. It's going to be Haven and I, I am certainly hoping it won't be a 13 -0. Yeah, Los, I, I mean, I, I think that the reality for us here on the desk is that CSI, they're playing without one of their, their better players. At least they were the bet, uh, one of their better players in the game I saw with them last week. That was That's Murex, who is not in tonight. Um, and it shows that they're struggling. Uh, we just saw everyone on the side of GVSU just be a little bit better. And that's no disrespect to, to Long Island, or Long Island, to Staten Island, <laughs> excuse me. Um, but it, it's just they didn't have uh, they didn't have what it was ta it was taking for for them to be able to win on bind well hopefully haven will be different yeah there's plenty of opportunities to have those isolated 1v1s i mean there there were just quite a few team firing positions if we looked in hookah if we looked down on b long where a lot of the confrontations between these two teams took place but i think a major issue that was faced by the csi squad is the fact that they had to deal with dive dive was so good at holding those angles and making those backline pushes and now mm -hmm. they're going on to do list 
Yeah, and it kind of felt like Dive was pretty used to being on the duelist role, even though they were playing on the uh, on the smokes last last map. It definitely felt like we were seeing somebody playing on a controller that was typically used to being in the back lines. Felt comfortable there, had a great poise Select and good timing agent. on when to fall back, when to get aggressive. All of those small little things that matter a lot. It was all there. Looks like a uh, lock-in from CSI, pretty much. They've gone for, uh, I, I, I'd say, approaching standard picks here. The weird oddity, I think, is Yawn on the Sage. I think most most people are putting in a fade in that in that role, um, at least at the time for the time being. Or Breach, as we see Loof has picked up. Um, but otherwise, just a lot of aggression set up here for, for Grand Valley. They've... They've gone for the double duelist, and I think I can know why. Yeah, I mean, they might as well, right? It, it seems that aggression, pain, really, is what they're bringing to the table. But also, <laughs> I, I feel that a breach pick, I have not seen one of those in quite some time, right? Like, they, they, he's usually fallen to the, the back burner with Fade's introduction. Um, I, I don't think that's entirely fair. I think some teams are still playing the, the breach here. It's just sort of a whatever you feel. Um, you know, you definitely feel that. And, oh, apparently, apparently Luf and RX were, were, were dueling for the Reyna. They both hovered it. So, just got the breach on accident. Man. <laughs> uh, so, unlucky there. It really is not their fault. Not what they wanted. And I mean, I don't hate it, to be fair. I think Breach is still fine. Oh, I'm right there with you, but let's see what impact they can have. But it's not even a Breach play. This is a strong defense. Two quick kills coming in from CSI in the first defensive round. Well, they definitely need a different look to their defense, to their play overall. And that's one way to do it, Loop pushed up in a good position is going to be taken out and now it's just about the two players remaining illusion in the back line spotted out called out and they don't have control of the spike so they need to make this pinch happen they can't do a rotation everything will be law no way illusion comes out with two right there Del taco trying to find a timing everybody's looking, looking the other direction but Del Taco not going to find it. And surely this should be it. 1v3, 22 HP. Uh, it has to be. Yeah. Well, there it is. It is the first map of the series. It will not be a complete shutout. And that's a lot more of the gameplay, at least the gunplay, that I should have come to expect from CSI. It feels like we were missing a lot of that in the first map, but again, the first round of the second map, so there's still time for them to either become stronger or for a resurgence back from GBSU. You know what? I figured out what the problem was the whole time. Was. It, it was your fault. You weren't using uh. your New York bias to, to its full extent. Well, I mean, it's Staten Island, so it doesn't have that full strength. If it was like a Bronx college, then I would have had uh, a little bit more weight there. <laughs> that's understandable. That's my bad. I, I blamed you for no reason. That's, that's <laughs> Oh, man, Del Taco. What a great entry. I'm not even sure how that happened, but it's actually a force coming in from the attacking team. They've uh, secured themselves some specters, some stingers even. And in the blink of an eye, everyone on CSI has lost their life followed up. Taco was hoping to get a tasty finish with that headhunter. Not going to be the case. Is the, t is the finish only tasty because it's Del Taco? You know, interesting that you'd think that. So that's not, that's, that's more Dell Computers Taco because there's two L's. Oh, you're right. I, listen, I I can't be held responsible. I don't I don't actually have a Del Taco around me, so I don't even know where those are located. They're certainly not by me. I, they're they're like around. It's just like not right by me. Uh, so you're right. It, now that does that does bring up an interesting I I question of okay. wh what exactly sort of taco that is, because <laughs> uh, you know does, does it does it come with computer chips and salsa? 
Bam! Bam! <laughs> well played. <laughs> oh, man. Wonder Bonus what? round time, right? <laughs> yeah. This is actually the same, I think, from the defense. Your CSI, they, they're giving it up. Yeah, quick rush in by Arax. And they'll decimate the defensive forces on C site. No casualties taken. At most, a few shots. And this is just running gun. Please stop. Or don't. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm down to watch some more uh, domination. <laughs> Wrong game mode. Sorry, this is Team Deathmatch. Yeah, it's it's feeling like that. It's feeling like an escalation because just the weapons keep getting better for <laughs> GVSU. Uh, yeah, I, I sort of crossed my me my metaphorical games there. You know what I mean? That's my bad. Two to one. Nothing bad about that. And, you know, I, I think Staten Island, you got to give them props for taking that pistol round. But here's where things really are going to get interesting, right? They've, they've got the guns in their hands. A couple of upgrades to three rifles to two SMGs for Grand Valley. They've got everything. But if uh, if this isn't a round that Staten Island can, can find themselves a, a victory in, then I, I, I will start to get a little worried. I believe it has to be, but it's a much smaller placement of players here for the defense on C. And no use of those walls. The barrier not making an appearance here on that defensive play. And Del Taco realizing something's fishy. If this is a loss on Sano's Ed. I mean, it's good enough just to give the information. They had no idea he was there. Yeah, great regression. RX comes for the dismiss and... Sharapak, though finding a good timing, is unable to connect the shots quickly enough. Three to one now. And, uh, you know, I thought that pissed around. It convinced me that maybe things would be different. They're not. Some things don't change. You know, the leaves are changing, but the, uh, the presence here from CSI certainly is not. I don't... I'm not sure that playing it back when you have Yawn on the Sage, is the play. And oh my god, we're getting some insider information. <laughs> insider knowledge. They they just called that they were going to see. <laughs> they just made that call, but now Yawn has come alive, taking the first kill of the round, wants some more. But Dive finally making their debut for frags in this map. Will come through as well. Del Taco. Doing some good work, Sano left alive. Was a one on four, now just three remain. And I would feel a lot more confident if it weren't for Luke and Co. Entirely swinging in on the positioning there of Sano, but 4-1. And yeah, they, uh, they let him know it was C, and it didn't matter. Jan with a nice shot, though, using that wall to get into position is a good idea. And I do think that we need to see a little bit more of that wall. Feels as though there's a lot of reactions coming from CSI and not forcing reactions out of their opponents where it's GVSU. They're making the play. They've called it out. They sent out the utility and it's a scramble from the Dolphins to try and make a response. But they need to get a bit more proactive. And I'm not saying they need to get super aggressive, but I guess putting the, the ball in their opponent's court. They have to get... A, yeah, no, I'm saying it. They gotta get aggressive, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, defensive aggression is a huge, huge part of this map to be able to win it. Of course, you have to be winning gunfights to be able to do that, and unfortunately, that's not happening. So, I whilst I agree with you in principle, though, I don't even know if it matters in reality. Matic got a few shots, a few tags on oh, no. Illusion down... South thought a long, but now they're stuck. Tagged up themselves, only 28 HP. Good for one, but in quick succession, the two of them fall. And considering that GVSU is on the offense and they're playing much faster, that works. this game might end up ending a little faster as well. Hey, listen, the last map was 20 minutes long. I don't know that it can get much shorter than that one. Pretty maximum on the uh, on the length there my friend but we'll see got the rolling thunder blade storm 
alongside the Cosmic Divide, all available for the attacking side. Um, though I don't know that that really is here. going to be at the forefront of their minds here. Blazestorm, though, at least is. Gonna go for the updraft. Close range. Um, dive missed every shot. That's, uh, un unlucky. And now the tides are turning. Weapons recovered while still intact. But now the second it breaks, yawn there for a follow-up. They whittled it down 5-2. to two. We've seen this situation before. And GVSU is not historically able to come out of this one. I, w I want to just throw the rolling thunder in here, get one or two kills, and keep pulling these rotations back, but it's not going to happen. Would have been a big fan, but it looks like the second round is a real possibility. Sano with a nice beat. Nice shots. A thrifty round one here for CSI. They pulled it off. Second in a row. Doubled up on the round wins this series as well. <laughs> that sounded very nice, but then I I just thought about it. Oh, these are <laughs> the first two rounds that we've seen from CSI. But even so, nice. a nice a I'm nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Absolutely, but maybe maybe not in the booth, not on the desk. But regardless, you know, they have been able to lock it down with just unexpected positions, and they're capitalizing on the the greed that we're seeing from GVSU. They think it's going to be a breeze, so they're just playing wacky uh, executes, and that's the perfect opportunity for CSI to start to get the leg up. Once they start finding those kills, they'll get a bit more confidence, and we can see potentially a snowball for themselves Ooh. start to form. Silly Los, this isn't Breeze, this is Haven. <laughs> what? <Okay>. I don't... <laughs> you, said, you said Breeze earlier. Oh yeah. my god, oh yes, of course. Mm. I don't even know what I say the second I say. It's like, it's gone. Check <laughs> the... one out the other. <laughs> yeah, check the, the notes. <laughs> uh, Los desperately checking the VOD to see if he actually said Breeze. I'm, I could just be gaslighting you, you'd have no idea. I mean, that's... See? You told me you're nice, but you actually gaslit me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was legit this time. I promise. <laughs> Rolling Thunder, here it comes, and through uh, that box, through the site, a wall bank for Eric's removing the defense. They won't die just yet. Looking for a new position. They'll back off of the retake. Ooh, Seraphic gonna be able to put the orbital strike down this could deny the plant yeah it should do just that plants are forced out into the open here comes the retake last player standing spike planted Morton stands that nobody with a blade storm will be able to find a kill with it not <laughs> yet this game yeah, people struggled with that for some reason thus far and not just on one side like both sides nobody's nobody's been able to be very successful but the good news is that the Rolling Thunder is okay. It's done well. Seven assists. Loofs, uh, you know, for accidenting their way onto onto a reach, doing pretty well with it. Honestly, being able to adapt to whatever tools you're given, even if it is a uh, agent that you didn't want to pick. I mean, normally I'd think in unfavorable situations where you lose a player and you can adapt. Well, you know what? Whatever situation that uh, reveals itself, why not? Dive. Beautiful headshot onto Appomatic. Both Sentinels dusted. And see site wide open as well. Nobody's home. The rotation. Right on the B, though. Del Taco going to go down towards Sano. 2v4. That's what's remaining. Both players coming from C Link. Last player standing. Nice trade, and a second one to follow it up. Sano now has a winnable moment, but the time is not on their side. Dive with the op says no. And there is no chance for you to make it back onto B. In T, that's, uh, that's what I give it. Seven to two score line at the moment. Sano doing what they can, 12 and seven. Pretty much right there, uh, right up there with, with everybody on the other side, what topping the leaderboard. What the Grand hear. Valley is, is pretty impressive from Sano to do, but it's not 
not been all that all that memorable because of the the sheer dominance we've been seeing from the opposition. Looks like a B hit. Finding. At least mid control. That's what's happening. The hunt begins. Star recalled just to give that false sense of safety. But Yawn starting things off strong with the Guardian there in the back of the site. And they've jumped off that high ground. And Dive comes in with a quick scope. The dismiss shot from Eryx won't take place this time around. But a speed run of around it was. What is that ridiculous level of aggression and, and confidence from Rx going going like in the open, right? It just goes to the dismiss. And I understand he's technically invisible there, um, because of the Empress, but like just stands out in the open. It's like, no, I'm just gonna take the duel. I'm gonna use the whole respawn time to get, you know, still lined it up. Well he use he's gonna take that win. I just I love that confidence. It's so telling. The mindset of these players here for Grand Valley. The reason why they're flawless. Barrier broken. Now nowhere for Yon to run. He'll be the first to fall. Still have a player hiding around. Sano though, they've been a godsend in terms of their ability to at least pick up some frags and little the damage that's coming through. Not this time around. Running right through the molly. You'd think you're safe, but not around Grand Valley. Last round like I said, the just the, the, the confidence with which these peaks are coming, that is, uh, is so telling. And, you know, I, I talk about it a lot, and, and Los, you can attest that this game, it, it's about skill, don't get me wrong, but if you feel confident, if you believe that you can do something, Oftentimes you just can't like and and it's a little bit of a weird weird scenario weird thing to think about But that is the reality like if you are if you're confident in, in your play Oftentimes you get away with things that just shouldn't happen. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of like uh, You know what it doesn't even matter. It was gonna be dumb. Let's see how this final round plays out Sano They've got the blade storm No one there to greet First. them I have the option. I'm imagining that Senna might just dash on through, but no. Nary a blade storm battle. Finding success, but it is an Odin kill to equalize things out. At least player advantage. Yeah, these uh these guys need to do better on their anime arcs, I tell you what. Truly, <laughs> truly disappointing. I thought we were gonna we you're gonna see full anime. No none none whatsoever. And there's so much good out this season. It's so tragic. Yeah, I know. It, we're expecting the tournament arc, but this is not quite that. Okay, Blade Storm! Yes, Blade yes. Storm! No! Not... No! Blade Storm! Oh he my <laughs> Epimatic! In a one on two, and they could actually walk out on top of this one if it wasn't for Del Taco on that tour de force. 10 to 2. Uh, double sides. the strength that we've seen from CSI here. I was ready to become a believer. You know, 9 3, I'm, I was, I was going to turn. I, normally I'm a cursed denier, but I was going to become a cursed believer there. But nope. 10 2. It all, uh, it all changes there. A lot of time to think about how these next rounds are going to go. I mean, essentially, if GVSU wins this round, they'll walk right on to series point. Yeah. I wonder, um, I, well, I, I'll, I'll keep my wondering for next round because it, it, it depends on the outcome of this one. Important not to think too hard. Great two openers here from CSI. The follow-up. Well, it'll be interesting. Del Taco with a body shot. Swinging around only one bullet left in that headhunter. And doesn't find a connection or a, a deadly one at that. But Illusion's here to pick up the pieces. One enemy remaining. Del Taco just threw the smoke. Dive from behind. And this is where I was wondering. Um, you know, given a win there for, for Grand Valley, which they have now done, will we see Staten Island go for the purchase? Or will they go for a save? 
because you know you could realistically think okay well we really are gonna struggle okay. to get a buyout um entirely so why don't we just go for two forest buys i don't like that idea but it would have been not that unreasonable it looks like they've gone for the more traditional a little bit more conservative approach they got their shock might lock down appomatic they know they're there and in fact gave them a huge advantage dive dive it in the back line this is exactly what they wanted and it's a flawless round leading us into map and series points point. you mean to tell me that gvsu are on series point no way i didn't believe it myself vincent you know it it was uh was quite the show that they put on nice uh, yeah. star placement there actually wait no that might be some straight yeah. trolling might be some trolling okay yeah, oh god oh god they they really thought they were doing something here <laughs> <laughs> oh illusion just taking out one with the judge. I love that they get anything with the judge. Not talking is still alive on this site. Technically winnable. Technically. Oh, there's the spike, but they don't realize that Seraphic is there, but the kill is secured. Now it's the one on two. Just Loof, who hasn't found too much impact besides those assists, but this is their time to shine. Planted. Definitely winnable now. Ooh, takes this. Kit takes the gun out of his hands at the wrong time. That is why you don't quick switch when you're on site. Well, I, uh, a rough lesson to learn, but now three on the board for CSI. Their strength is growing exponentially. It does come off of the most ridiculous play and honestly something that I could see myself doing of running it down through long through nebulous. Not going to be done again. I think they've had enough fun. You would never run it down, though. So I, be I, I believe that in you. Our ex, though, would absolutely run it down. I'll follow it up with the Leer. Information created. They had that pressure, but Sano, if you need someone to land a crucial shot, they're good for it. But now everything will come to a close unless, unless in a while, turn this into a one on three victory. But there's a knife. And even the quick swap is too quick for the sky to find the reaction. And this is going to be a GVSU victory overall. The 26 to 3 total scoreline, a bit rough for the Dolphins. Yeah, that's uh, that is certainly going to be a a rough one. The Dolphins doing what they could, but honestly, they did well just to get three rounds there at the very end. We'll have to see how things go um, as they move forward. They now move to a two and four record, while Grand Valley State move up to uh, continue their undefeated streak at a four zero. Oh, win loss that is massive as they are tied many ways for the number one seed currently here in the ecac but i i gotta say i'm, I'm very impressed and i i hope that we get to talk to uh, one of the gvsu players because that that'd be a cool conversation definitely would love to hear what they had to say but it, it was just simply grand valley on another level you can't really fault csi as overall grand valley state they are bringing a oppressive force here in the ECAC. But we'll find out if we get to talk to one of the players right after this quick break. So don't go anywhere. More ECAC Valorant right after this. Army.com. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez. I got you. 
The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? working your way up from the bottom instead how does this sound starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations skip entry level decide to lead as an army officer becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here? You'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents 
We're back here with ECA Esports. We finished it out. The best of three, two nothing GVSU with a destructive victory. And unfortunately, we don't have anyone from the team to interview, but I feel that there's nothing left to say as it was all said in the server. A fantastic victory. They'll continue undefeated. But that is it here for ECAC Valorant tonight. But the action continues tomorrow as we do have GVSU coming back against Fisher for Ooh. Rocket League at 7 p.m. And then Keen versus St. Rose in Overwatch at 8.30 p.m. Easter Standard Time. You know the vibes right here at ECAC Sports. But thank you for all watching this broadcast. We'll catch you on the next one. Now I got too rich. They were sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever, like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? 
Another Cloud 2 Classic. I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com.